What is up you sexy YouTube mother lovers? I'm back here in North Carolina and today we're going to be talking about something pretty interesting. Uh, whether or not this is a felony. Yes, this item that has been perfectly legal to purchase in the United States if you're over 21 and aren't a felon yet may end up being an unregistered NFA item thanks to the ATF's recent ruling decision? How the f*** do they even work anymore? That's right, my buddy Tim over at Military Arms Channel broke this on Instagram the other day that the ATF was actively talking about classifying AK and AR pistols, very, cop very popular now, as NFA items or AOWs. Why are they doing this? TLDR, I'm pretty sure the people that are high up in the ATF are just to have a fucking dartboard on the wall like, Hey, what are we gonna fuck with today? We gonna find those Fast and Furious guns we sold to the cartel? Hmm, how about we trace down those guns that have been stolen all over the country in riots and shit? <laughs> nope, legal pistols it is. And I have an SOT. I don't personally care if this is an NFA item, cause I can own those. Still doesn't change the fact that it's bullshit for 99% of the country. I'm a little salty about this, can you tell? Usa. <laughs> Gonna need something stiff for this video. That's why I've got this Biden Harris. F I'm sorry, hammer and sickle vodka. Hmm, smells like government regulation. Let the games begin. So if any of you guys are out there wondering if you just became a very casual felon overnight, don't worry, we're gonna be getting into all the ramifications, what exactly this means, why they made their determination, and just kind of why why they, they kind of suck right now. But real quick before we do that, I got a package. And almost as cool, I got a box at my door. It was none other than our new sponsor, Bespoke Post. Bespoke Post is a subscription club that sends you a lot of cool new products and brands every month. Let's see what I got in mind. I totally didn't open before we filmed this video. Got a survival LED headlamp for those of us too broke to have nods. Cold shower cooling field towels so you guys don't smell, frankly, as bad as you normally smell. I went to Kalash Bash. I smelled what a couple of you guys smelled like after a full day of wearing Russian kit. Nomad backpack. Stainless steel water bottle or, well, liquid of your choice. Yo, dog, I heard you like boxes. So they sent you a bespoke post box in your box actually has a really cool knife. Damascus Steel, which will forever be Beskar in my mind. I'm really, really craving Mandalorian coming back. Best part is it's not just the same generic box. They actually have you take a quiz on their site and they choose your box based on what you say you like. They have some super cool stuff, so if you wanna check them out, go ahead and use the link in the description and in the pinned comment. We got a code there, save you a little bit of money. And we definitely appreciate their support of the channel. Now, back to Felmony. So there's something really important to know here about when we're talking about the ATF in this context. We're not talking about the ATF as in your typical field agent who, you know, does all your audits and things that uh, are definitely going to be paying me a visit after I talk this much crap on the ATF. Hi guys! We're instead talking about the Firearms and Ammunition Technology Division, or, and I'm not making this up, Fat D. So the ATF took their big swing in fat D and is slapping pistol owners across the country with it. In a website that I'll link below, it says, in some of the new letters, ATF has begun listing the following objective design features when making its evaluations. And remember the word objective, please, because that's gonna be funny later. Incorporation of rifle sights. Okay, fair enough. Utilization of rifle caliber ammunition, both 5.56 and 7.62 have been considered as such. Okay, check. Incorporation of a rifle length barrel. What the fuck does that mean? Rifle length, according to the ATF, has got to be 16 inches or else it's considered a short barrel rifle, unless it's a pistol. This one, for example, has like a 10 inch barrel on it six inches shy of what the ATF determines as legal length. Some target handguns, like 22 caliber and, I mean, hell, 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum revolvers have longer barrels than this thing does. So if 16 inches isn't your cutoff point, what the hell is a rifle length barrel? Up next, the weapon's heavy weight. I've held an AR-15 in my hand, I wish I had it. It is as heavy as 10 boxes that you might be moving. This is where that word objective starts being really funny. How do you objectively classify... 
Oh, the gun's heavy. Desert Eagles are heavy. Are they rifles now? AOWs? If I add fishing weights to my Glock, is that now heavy? Matt, Scott, first of all, good to be back on good terms with you guys. Secondly, you better watch out because you have rifle length barrels on your 500 Smith & Wesson Magnums and they're heavy as shit. Anyway, this gets better in the next one. The ability to accept magazines that will range in capacity from 20 rounds to 100 rounds, which will contribute to the overall weight of the firearm. Here's this heavy shit again. So now capacity is what makes it a rifle? So for example, let's take this Glock 19, which by the way has a cool new holster from LAS Concealment. Thank you guys very much. It's kind of my replacement carry gun for the time being while I don't have the Makarov, which may or may not be at the LAS guy's place working on a Makarov holster. Gotta help out all those Makarov bros out there that I freshly minted, apparently. The Glock 19 holds 15 rounds, standard capacity 15 plus one. Full round shy of where they start at 20 rounds to 100 rounds. You can also buy 33 round stick magazines and 50 round drums. Shit, if you wanna go totally letter of the ruling, you can buy those ball sack double drums for the Glock uh, 9 millimeters that hold 100 rounds on the dot. Is this a rifle? And if we're using the it's heavy measurement, you put that 100 round double drum down there, this is a pretty heavy firearm. Anyways, this shit gets even worse here in a second. Last restriction, overall length of the weapon, which creates a quote, front heavy imbalance when held in one hand. That's what the brace was for! So right on the heels of fucking with the honey badger over braces, they're saying that AK and AR pistols may not actually be pistols, they're AOWs because they're front heavy and there's no way to brace them properly. I think that's their plan. I think that's the master plan, is to get people who can think this stuff through rationally so frustrated that we all just have an aneurysm and die. You ready for the icing on the cake? However, ATF also noted in its most recent private ruling that the above design features are, quote, neither binding on future classifications nor is any factor individually determinative. ATF concluded that a firearm that is too large, too heavy, or otherwise not designed to be held and fired in one hand, as demonstrated by the objective features, cannot be a handgun under the statutory definitions and cannot be subject to importation criteria governing handguns. Basically, they're taking the last, I don't know, 20 years of precedence about what is qualified as a pistol and shitting on it, claiming that it doesn't have to be all of these things, or even most of them, if they just decide that it's too heavy and they don't really think it acts like a handgun, they're not going to approve it. Welcome to Moving the Goalpost 101. You see, the ATF gives us a list of rules to comply with, and us as, you know, manufacturers, uh, consumers, comply with those rules and regulations to the best of our ability because, hey, you know what, we may not like the rules, but we like staying out of prison even more. When they realize that we're actually just a little too happy and have bustling industry complying with their rules, they do this kind of shit, which directly flies in the face of what the Trump administration actually sent them a cease and desist saying, stop doing this. Stop it with a reclassification of pistols and pistol braces. Now, I'm not naive enough to believe that Daddy Trump actually in his heart of hearts cares a whole lot about guns, but I do know he really doesn't like it when he gets disrespected by a rogue government entity that's not listening to what he said. Now I have no idea how this election is going to turn out, other than the fact that either way, it's going to be a shit show and I need to get back to packing magazines afterward. But if he does win, I'm actually excited to get front row tickets to the fist fight that's going to occur between the Trump admin and the ATF. We should have found a way to get them to piss him off a long time ago. So the answer to the final question of, are you a felon or not for owning these, or do you need to have a boating accident, it basically boils down to this. The current determination that they've made is specifically targeting pistols from import. That would actually include these, that includes Dracos, basically any sort of, actually it targets AKs a whole lot more than ARs. Anything that gets brought into the country as, you know, a technical pistol, they could be looked at for redetermination and rejection. So you guys are safe, asterisk, you're safe for now. But if they can deny it, import, because it's not a pistol, that's really bad precedence for all the guys here in the US who already have one. It is really not that far of a jump to say now millions of otherwise law-abiding citizens have unregistered NFA items and have to serve 
you know, the penalty for uh, getting caught with an unregistered NFA item, 10 years in prison, $250,000 fine. The full smackdown of the fat D of the law. So, uh, to put this as graphically as possible, are we fucked? No. But there's a creepy dude in the corner who just took a lot of Viagra and is eyeing us up pretty hard. So that pretty much wraps this up, this episode of current events with Brandon Herrera. We do have a B-Channel video coming up uh, that was my time in Texas and squashing the feud between Demo Ranch and Kentucky Ballistics. That video will be going up on Saturday. Anyhow, I'm going to go vote because somebody's got to cancel out all those dead people that are going to be casting ballots this year. I will see you sexy YouTube mother lovers in the next video. Thanks. Fear is my obsession to make the perfect weapon like us put his eyes to the top. But the killer you can stop, you can stop, you can stop, you can stop, you can stop. But real quick before we do that, I've got a package. And even almost oh, well, I was going to say uh, even better. Even but better. It's not. It's not. <laughs> but before we do that, real quick I got a package, and almost as cool, I got a box on my door. On my door. On my door. God damn it! All right. It's like, <laughs> like Spider-Man on that door. All right. The Glock 19 holds. <laughs> Just verifying before I say something wrong. <laughs>